This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. All the emails that we have sent to date so far have been fairly plain, black text, white background. And we can do some formatting. We looked at doing some formatting when the email type was HTML or rich text format. Now you can take things one step further and make use of stationery in Outlook. And stationery allows you to have much fancier email with background colors and images and the like. If you would like to use one of those kind of fancier emails, then we can set that up under File and Options. Mail. So File Options, and in the Outlook Options, we want the Mail tab. In the Mail tab, there is a little section here for stationery. Use stationery to change default fonts, styles, colors, and backgrounds. Stationery and fonts. And on the Personal Stationery tab where we end up, we can select a theme. So if we click Theme, Currently we have no theme, but we can jump through these themes and you can see how the headings, bullets and links will be displayed. And if there are any background colors involved, you can see the bullets are quite fancy on that one. A bears there, lens, blue pin, there's loads, absolutely loads. And you can spend a few weeks just clicking through them. Now these will only affect any email sent as HTML and will only be seen by recipient email clients that understand HTML emails. It's just too much choice, isn't it? Let's go for that handprints, that looks awful enough. So let's choose a theme, handprints. Okay. So the font is gonna use the themes font. Use my font when replying and forwarding messages, or always use my font. Use the themes font, let's stay with the themes font. So that's what new email messages will look like. So black on a white, replying will look light blue. Do you want to mark your comments with your username in this case, but you can change that, you can override that. And do you want to pick a new color when replying or forwarding? Or are you happy to stay with the theme style? Let's stay with the theme for the moment. So that's okay. That's okay. And now when we go to create a new email, you can see it has this hand printy design in the background. And any styles in here will have come from that theme. Just bear in mind that at the receiving end, if their email client does not understand HTML emails, they will just get black text on a white background anyway. So let's send this to Guy Hot Hill. Look at background. Check names, Hotmail Guy. Sent. Change the spell checker and it's gone with that background of the hands. So that's file, options, mail, stationery, choose a theme. Plenty in there. Should after a while you decide that the theme is just not right, not for you, then you can always go back to no theme right at the top. And that will be the default white background. Some color, obviously, if you are using HTML or RTF styles, as you can see, a heading one's got a darker blue text, but none of the colored imagery in the background. Okay, okay, okay. And we're back to new email being totally blank and normal font. So that's using stationery if you wish to make your emails a bit jazzy, shall we say.